Welcome to VAT19 Rejects. This is a show where I promote products that we don't even sell because you know why. I'm an idiot! Oh my goodness, folks. Uh, I'm just gonna show them to you. They're, they're mullet socks. I just, yeah, um, I don't get it. I guess I gotta throw these on. Demo them for you. <laughs> Let me just get my foot where my face normally is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, why? As Corey said, it seems funny for about three seconds as you like make an entrance at your adult kickball league, but then they need to go. And they don't even look that well made to be honest with you. Oh look, that was not hard to give it a haircut. <laughs> Folks, this is, hopefully you can read it, the puke bucket. It's just, it's just a plastic bucket specifically designed for you to throw up into because your regular buckets and toilets aren't good enough. You need a special $20 device just for throwing up into. Now, what makes it so special? Okay, other than the dead spider in the bottom of it. Oh, he's not coming out. Okay, look, look, $2 at Home Depot. $20 on Amazon. Home Depot, $2, $20, Amazon. Cause it has these fins in it that I guess like aerodynamically direct your puke <laughs> so that you don't get as much splash back when you're throwing up. <laughs> if you're throwing up that much that you need a specific device for it other than just like, you know, the toilet or the ground outside, you are a rich, rich person. The puke bucket, available not at vat19.com. Next up is a product that I don't know if it's a joke or not. I think they're being serious though. This is the World Series Stare Off official game. There's cards for things you can do while you're staring at each other. How about think of something else to do? There's rules and a something. I don't know, what is this for? Is this to set the distance between two people? So you can like, make sure you're, all right. All I have to say to the World Series stare off game is. So this is a retro product. This is electronic basketball. This has gotta be from like 1980, maybe even earlier. You know, retro can be cool, but not all old things that are retro are necessarily cool. Not wearing a seatbelt, retro, but not cool. Asbestos is old, it's retro, not cool. Gives you cancer. Not saying this will give you cancer. Just saying, just cause it's retro doesn't mean it's cool. This is a novelty product for one night a year. And if it doesn't work, You've ruined the thing that you spent all day cooking. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just, it's a, it's a chainsaw looking carving knife and, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. It's not bad looking. I mean, it feels super cheap. Okay, here we go. I don't know how well this will cut through turkey. Should we try cutting through some gummy? Not bad. Kind of impressed. I guess I shouldn't be, because it's it's got a big knife on it. I feel like I'm sort of talking myself into maybe we should carry this. Let me know in the comments. If you're like, dude, you're an idiot. Add this to your store. <laughs> oh, a plastic surgeon. Bat19.com. Corey just made a good point. How, how are you gonna wash this? Because you can't put that in the dishwasher with the cord on. Corey says just, just dump it like this, blade down into the toilet and swirl it around. That's how you can clean. Hey, this could be a, an electric poop knife. Figured it out.